This is not an advanced shader pack for Minecraft. This is Planet Zoo. There's a new mod out that brings Minecraft into Planet Zoo. If you just search Minecraft in the catalog, you'll see all these blocks here were recently added as part of a new Minecraft building mod pack. And today, we're going to be using these blocks to be building for the new Red River Hog. To be honest, I have absolutely no plan for what we're going to do, but this is our limited palette, so we're gonna try and make something good. I think we'll just start by making some sort of viewing area. That'll probably be the best thing we can do. I just love how these blocks snap to each other. It's so satisfying. I think that's a good little start to a viewing area. Uh, I'm gonna switch up the block now to do the rest of the fencing. Maybe I can add some little like wooden pillars on the sides here. Also, I'm not exactly sure how we're going to keep the hogs from jumping out, but that's something I might just have to figure out later because obviously we don't have any glass pieces or fence pieces, but we can always just pretend that they can't get out. Actually, what if I did a little moat here? That would probably be good. I know adding the water, it's just going to look so wrong. Yeah, that, that looks so wrong. Like, it's like a really, really good shader pack. Now I'm just going to copy this all the way down. There we go. I'm wondering, should I put like sand blocks? Oh, they're not really snapping. I might have to use, I might have to cheat a little bit here. Okay, so in order for the sand to actually show through, I have to make sure everything is at this height here. Filling this entire moat with sand is going to take such a long time. Oh my goodness. I do want there to be a step up you know, like a little slope. So we're just going to do a couple blocks that are one block higher here. All right, I think it's time to put the terrain back where it belongs. Because I can't hide a lot of this terrain uh, due to the water, I'm just going to make a path out of bricks here. Okay, I think that looks good for now. Let's see what it looks like when I add the water back in. The water is not here. That's not good. There we go. That's more like it. I think we'll need to make this look more opaque just so it looks a little bit more like Minecraft. I'm actually gonna set the transparency all the way to zero. Should we do this bright blue? <laughs> okay, I think I am gonna do this bright blue because Minecraft has it and we do want this to look like it's in Minecraft, right? Okay, hold on a minute. That's not supposed to be there. Okay, that looks a lot better. Now, I think I need to make the rest of the actual fencing and then we'll get onto the building. I'm having a lot more fun than I thought I would building this. Okay, I'm gonna replace this cobblestone here with the wood. I just think that looks a little bit more cohesive. Now, the only problem with this is if I place the wood like that, it doesn't rotate. Obviously, that would be very, very hard to achieve. I mean, that actually doesn't look so bad, but it's not really what I'm going for. So what I'm gonna have to do is actually manually rotate it like this and put it into place. Try to get it as accurate as possible. And then I'll just have to keep moving it along. There, now we have a little window. And I'm just gonna copy this over to the other side. Okay, so we have a basic fence for them. Now they need a shelter. I'm thinking we can kind of do a typical Minecraft villager style house for this, uh, but try and make it work. I'm thinking I'll put it right at the back here. And to space it out, I am just going to place some blocks. So that way the spacing is, you know, accurate. And then I can just delete them after like this. We'll start off with something like this. That's kind of the facade I'm going for. We need to do our little rotation trick again here. Okay, I think that's a pretty good facade. Now we just have to actually build out. It'll probably go past this wall here though. I also added this little window in the back here just to add some more interest to the build, you know, make it less boxy. Now to do the roofing, it's pretty simple. I literally just need to copy this and drag it here. Normally, I probably could use the snapping tool, but because this log is rotated sideways, we can't really do that. Doing this is making me want to actually play Minecraft. Like, maybe I should go and build a zoo in Minecraft. Now we'll add a roof to this little window here, and you can pretend that has glass in it so the pigs can't escape. But yeah, I really like that. I think this is actually looking pretty good. Now we must decorate. I think we're going to need a lot of trees and shrubs to make this look good. Okay, I'm going to be honest, I had to Google Minecraft custom tree because I have no idea how to build them. So I'm going to try following this little Google image here uh, to make this actually look good. 
I just realized that they use slabs, but we can't do that here, so we're just gonna have to make it work. The thing I definitely have the most trouble with when making trees, like in Minecraft, are the leaves. I am just not good at it. Okay, I've done the front of the tree, and I don't really like it, but you know, we'll just finish it and <laughs> that'll be the big tree. We're not gonna do another huge custom tree like this. I'm not exactly sure why I challenged myself to build something I can't even do in a regular Minecraft uh, in Planet Zoo, which is actually much harder than regular Minecraft. Well, there's the back of the tree, and I think that if you don't look too closely, it actually looks pretty good. I think maybe I'll add a smaller shrub over here. I know we don't have slabs in this pack, but like Minecraft have slabs, so maybe it's not cheating if I just sink these down just a little bit and we can just pretend that they're slabs, okay? Just pretend. I'm trying to think, how can we make this look less barren? This is really hard to do with such a limited palette. Maybe if we can incorporate some of this mossy cobblestone in a way, we can make another like rock decoration. Maybe I should add some rocks in the water as well. That might make it look a little better. How's that looking? Is that, is that good? Do I like that? I I'm not sure, honestly. What if I gave him a mud bath? Cause like, pigs like mud. Okay, now I'm just gonna sink this into the ground. There we go. And that, that kind of looks like a mud bath, I think. Real question is, where do I put it? Gosh, I can I just say I love this new addition to the move tool? Like, look at that. I can just move it on like two axes. That's amazing. Okay, I do actually quite like it over here. So I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I Maybe I'll add another one. And again, we'll just sink it into the ground and then I'll move it and I'll see where I like it. I'm thinking somewhere kind of by the shelter maybe because that part was looking pretty empty. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I'm even gonna add another little shrub over here for decoration, I think that's cute. Honestly, I think that looks pretty good. I don't know what else I can add to make it look better just using the Minecraft stuff. So now let's get the actual pigs in here. I almost forgot, you know, that I need uh, an actual barrier to be able to make this work. All right, it looks like we got the first pig in our enclosure, you know, cause obviously I wasn't gonna use the real Red River Hog, right? Like you weren't expecting that, I hope. This really wouldn't be a Minecraft build if we didn't use, you know, the Minecraft animal that was added to the game. Love this mod, by the way. This is just awesome. But yeah, I think I did pretty good here. It was a very limited palette, but I have to say I had so much fun building it. I wasn't expecting to really thoroughly enjoy a Minecraft and Planet Zoo mod, but here we are. I love this custom tree. I know that I did kind of like go off a Google image, but I think it looks great. Uh, the overall enclosure looks pretty sweet too, if you ask me. I even tried to make the water look like it was from Minecraft. I don't know if I succeeded on that front, but I certainly tried. If you guys like this sort of video, make sure to leave a like and tell me what you thought down below in the comments section. I think this is a really, really weird challenge. So if you want to see more like that, please let me know. Uh, and if you want to see more content like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. We just hit 100 subs and I'm really, really grateful for that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.